Okay, we are officially on. So we're gonna. I'm gonna. It's just gonna be a short lecture because we don't have a lot of time. We've only got nine minutes. So geometry, line segments, and triangles. What we're gonna talk about. If I had a line segment, first of all, do you guys know the difference between a line and a line segment? Uh, Thorn. A line can continue going on forever, and a line segment is um, a set space. Yes, exactly. It stops, right? So this would be a line, and this right here would be a segment, where you have a dot on each end, right? So it starts and it stops. But if the line goes, if, if you just draw a line like this, technically there are hidden arrows on the end of that line. It goes on forever and ever, right? Um, so this would be called a line segment. So let's say I had this. This is A, this is B, and this is C. And I said, um, Um, uh, let me think for a second. How do I say, how do I write it again with a segment? Do you know? Like if I did A B, do I just do a straight? Just line A C. Is that what I do? Okay. So that's what I thought. But I was thinking, how do you determine between a line and a segment if you're? So if it's a line, I think then you just have an arrow that points. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's say, so this is what I got. We, I'm going to say, so um, AB, line segment AB is equal to um, 10, and line segment uh, BC is equal to um, uh, 18. Find AC. So if I looked at this, I would say, okay, line segment AB is equal to 10. So I'm going to come over here, AB, right, from here to here is 10. So I'm actually going to write a 10 right there. And then it says line segment BC is 18. B <coughs> to C is 18, so I'm going to put that there. Now it's asking me to find AC. AC. How long is this line? What is it? Say it loud. 28. 28. How'd you guys get it? Right, you just add them together, right? So the whole thing, AC is equal to 28, exactly. All right, now, I was really nice to you. That's not how they usually give them to you. They usually give them to you with mixed numbers, right? So, um, so now we're gonna do it again, but this time we're gonna do it with mixed numbers. So AB, is, in this case, we'll say um, 3 and a third, and BC is, um, I don't know, 5 and um, a fifth. No, we'll say 2 fifths. Why not? Make it different. 5 and 2 fifths, find AC. So what would I have to do? This is 3 and a third, and this is... 5 and 2 fifths, what would I have to do? Add. What? Say it again. Add. Add, right? So I'm going to just set it up. I'm going to go 3 and 1 third plus 5 and 2 fifths. Now I could always use my improper fractions, but remember how I said for adding them, they're sort of easier to just rework them. To remember, that is the same as 3 plus one-third plus five plus two-fifths. So I'm now going to put the three and the five together. Three plus five plus one-third plus two-fifths. Now I immediately know this is eight. eight. Great. Plus what? So I'm going to do something here. I'm going to put my parentheses because I'm asking my, I should ask my questions first. Do I have common denominators? No. No. Can I take this, turn the smaller denominator, denominator into the no. bigger no. one by multiplying it by a number? No. So now, 
what would be the third one question would be what would be the common denominator if I were going to add them? Graham, what would you say? Uh, 15. 15. So what would I multiply 3 by? Uh, 5. 5. So I put a 5 in here and a 5 in here. And 5 times 3, three in here and 3 in here. Perfect. So now I have 8 plus 5 <coughs> times 1 is 5. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 times 3 is 6, 5 times 3 is 15. So, Molly, what do I have? I have 8, and what? 5, 15, um, 11, 15. 11 fifteenths. Great. Beautiful. Um, beautiful. Um, does that make sense? What if I did this one? Can I erase this, or are you guys still writing? Oh, well, I'm still writing. Right. One second, OK. So now I'm going to change colors on us for a second. Let's say I said a different scenario. We're going to still use the same line, but we're gonna, lines, but we're going to use different values. Let's say I said AC, line segment AC, was equal to um, um, 6 and 2 thirds. And line uh, BC is equal to um, uh, do, 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 do. I don't know. Let's see. What is BC? Okay. So say three and one third. And then I said find a. B, line segment AB. So in that case, let's get rid of this now. Can I erase all this stuff now? Yes? So it's not confusing us. OK. So it's the same idea, only in this case, they gave us the total length. From here to here is 6 and 2 thirds. And then they gave us from B to C is 3 and a third. And they're asking us to find this right here. What would I do? Emily. Subtract. Subtract. Exactly. This total minus this will give me this little leftover piece. The total minus the little the, that one segment will give me the last segment. So I'm going to do it. So 6 and 2 thirds minus 3 and a third. Um. Now, instead of converting to improper fractions, sometimes subtracting is really easy. This one is an exam example that's really easy. I know I can subtract 3 from 6 really easily, right? Mm -hmm. So it's going to, what's 6 minus 3? Three? 3. 3. Now, I, I'm going to also subtract 1 third from 2 thirds. They're already common denominators, right? So what do I have? One, three and one third. Two third, yeah. Two thirds minus one third is one third. So my answer is three and one third. Exactly. So that's what AB is. AB is equal to three and one third. Right? So it's logical. Makes sense. I don't think we're going to have time to do the triangles. Um, we sort of did them. <coughs> maybe, maybe I'll just quite quickly do one. Because, oh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to because I'm going to just give you the homework. So the homework, get out your um, homework sheet, homework pad. And we're going to finish, we're going to do just a few more problems in the same lesson, right? So it's going to be lesson two. But now they're going to be math, right? So this is the homework. And it's due. Whoops, yeah. Lesson two. This is homework due Monday. Wait, so um, lesson two questions? So lesson two. So, yeah, there are going to be questions on that. So on page nine, page nine, I want you to do numbers 11 through 18. Um, and uh, 28 through 30. OK? 
okay? 11 through 18 and 28 through 30. I don't think they'll take you that long. Yeah. But but uh, I just want to, so the 11 to 18 will be practicing fractions. Well, actually 13 through 18 is. Also the triangles, and then that'll be practicing those line segments. Um, and there's